Okay, um, so I crashed um, my computer somehow before, um, and that's why this is taking some time to render. But we were lucky that this didn't crash, because um, otherwise I would have had to wait another five minutes before starting this video. Um, so we're going to switch this to a linear layout, because that's the one that everyone prefers you use when you're actually developing something. And notice down the bottom that it changed by itself. Um, now we've got our nice little text. Um, again, if you click on it, it changes to a string rather than just saying, hello world. Um, now, what's going to happen here is it's going to look a little weird for most of you. Um, it's just popped up. I do hate how small some of my screen is. Um, it's hello world then hello world. Now this isn't what we want. There's no space even between this. Um, so how are we going to solve this? We're going to add an orientation. Now Android, they've decided to make it life easy for everyone and just type in AN and you pop up with Android. And then orientation. You just hit an O and it pops up straight away. Now we're basically in a horizontal view at the moment. But we're going to be in a vertical. So we want to use vertical. Now I've had a bit of issues with some of this stuff before, um, but we're going to, for the width, we're going to fill fill the parent. Now, let's see what happens here. So basically, it's just saying that it's filling all the way. The parent's been filled the whole way, all the way across. Now, that's fine. The center's here as well. Um, now, we are going to add in a nice little thing called layout. Gravity, do center horizontal. See what happens here. Nothing, for some reason. Nothing at all. Um, we'll just run center though. See what happens. Apparently nothing as well. Um, I think this is my fault. Um, yep, I've made a bit of a mistake. Um, we'll leave this as wrap. Wrap content. And yep, it's popped in the middle. Because I was filling parent, it was already technically in the center. The text wasn't, but the object was. The object was centered already. Um, so now what if we add center horizontal? Nothing. What about center vertical? It's back to the start. So we don't need to worry about this at the moment. But we're going to keep the center in. Now, as you may have noticed before, this isn't the center, but this isn't. That's because these little tags here, as you can see, um, they've highlighted one up the top and the closing one down the bottom. They, they've kept this all separate. So if we enter this in HTML, I don't think anything would have happened for that. But in HTML, if you were to put an enter space around here and all that, it would have moved down a line, but th that doesn't happen with Android or XML, I'm assuming. Um, so what we need to do is we can, we'll add an Android layout. Um, where is it? Um, layout margin left. And then we'll add in, say, 20 DP. DP is... Um, Density pixels or dex density independent pixels. Same thing. I'm um, just we abbreviate it with DP. And now what's happened? It's moved over just 20 pixels to the, from the left. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do Android uh, text size. Now this is the fun one. Um, we can add that to 20 DP as well. But we go across. It's changed it. Now. I know you're probably thinking, what have I done? Well, I've done absolutely nothing, but why am, Why did I sound a bit confused? Um, it's because it's just common practice to use SP. Now, I believe that this is specific pixels, and I'm going to go over and just take a look at my little thing here. Yeah, they're scale independent pixels, so scale pixels. Um, they prefer, like, it's just general to develop text with scale pixels. Now, you might think what's the issue um, and all that, but it's better just to conform to the norm for this kind of thing. Is if you want to, if people are going to uh, buy your app or 
they want um, to use your code to create a better app and they'll sell, oh, they want to buy it to you. You're just making it easy for uh, easier for them and all that um, rather than having to go through all the ones that say text size and change the density pixels to scale pixels or even um, I believe you can even do px which yeah it doesn't really do much in fact that's <laughs> made it much smaller um, so we prefer scale pixels if you're not going to do scale pixels or forget it use density pixels but it's best to use the scale pixels um, now that's about it for now I'm gonna like I've just shown you how to use scale pixels, um, how to switch it to a linear layout and all that. They're actually, I'm going to show you just one last thing. Um, we're going to bring in a nice little small OK button. Now it just drops in right underneath everything. Now that's because we're using a linear layout and everything's just right stacked on top of each other. As If you can see up here, it's just on top of each other. One object ends and another begins and so on. Now, to add a way to deal with this, we've done the layout margin left. What we do is we use the layout, layout margin bottom. Then add, say, 50 density pixels. That's going to push this thing down. And we'll cover a bit more in the next tutorial. Because, as you can tell, we probably don't want these things up this high, especially the main one up right at the top that doesn't really have any space. So we'll cover that in the next tutorial. Um, so good luck. This probably went for a little longer than I would have liked. Um, but goodbye.